Hello, everybody. I am in my car, but the news does not stop, especially when you are a fan of the off-season baseball market. Luis Urias has been traded to the Seattle Mariners, former Boston Red Sox, former Milwaukee Brewer. Luis Urias going over to the Seattle Mariners. He is a second baseman, uh, slash third base, slash shortstop, um, whatever kind of a middle infield utility. Um, and I have some thoughts. So let's first talk about who, who we got, which is Luis Urias. Pulling up the stats right now, he did not have a good season last year. Last year, uh, 194 batting average, three home runs, uh, and a negative 0.2 wins above replacement. So he wasn't very good last year. Um, that being said, he only played 52 games. Um, but it was not a good 52 games. Six doubles, three home runs, 18 runs batted in, OPS of 636, and uh, 76 OPS+. plus. However, 2022, he was okay. 2022 with the Milwaukee Brewers, Luis Urias hit 239. He had a 739 OPS. He hit 16 home runs, 17 doubles, 47 runs batted in, and was their starting second baseman. In 2021, as a 24 year old, was that was his best season? It was when he was 24 in 2021. Played 150 games, 23 home runs, 25 doubles, 75 runs batted in, 77 runs scored a 249 batting average, a 789 OPS. So he has had two he's had one good year and he's had one average year as a starting second baseman for the Brewers and then last year he had a terrible year where he was traded midway through the season to Boston. He also began his career with the Padres 2018, didn't do a whole lot with San Diego. Uh, so he really kind of broke out in 2021. That's Luis Urias. Um, he's, he hits better against lefties. He's kind of, uh, he's a very similar player, honestly, to Josh Rojas, uh, a guy who can play multiple positions in the infield. He's not going to blow you away with his hitting. Um, he's a bounce back candidate. You know, he's a, he's a flyer. Ultimately, that's what he is. He's a flyer. So who did we give up? Well, we gave up Isaiah Campbell. Isaiah Campbell Rookie for the Mariners last year, 26 years old, so he's a year younger. Isaiah Campbell last season came up into the big leagues and actually gave us some very quality innings. 0.5 wins above replacement, a 4-1 and record, a 2.83 earned run average, and he has one of the greatest mustaches that I've ever seen. You look at the picture. This is Isaiah Campbell. You might recognize him from the team. Uh, he threw 27 games for us, 28 innings, one save. He was one for one save opportunities. He struck out 33 guys in 28 innings, walked 13, had a solid ERA plus of 144 with a 10.4 strikeouts per nine. So Isaiah Campbell put up some good numbers. Granted, he wasn't pitching a, a lot of leverage innings. He was throwing... A lot of kind of, oh, we're losing by three. Let's put Isaiah Campbell in the game. Oh, we're winning by four. Let's put Isaiah Campbell in the game. He wasn't really pitching in close games for the most part. Um, but that doesn't take away from the fact that he was throwing quality innings. He was giving us quality pitching baseball. And he's 26. Um, and he was he was a pretty much, he was a touted prospect in our system. And I thought we had we had plans for him to kind of be in this bullpen for a while. Um, I thought maybe he was a guy who could potentially... I don't think he was going to ever be a closer. But I thought he was a guy who could potentially throw leverage innings for us. I thought he was a guy who, who you could see out there pitching in the 7th, 8th inning in a close game. And, and I would have trusted him to do that. Because he's clearly a very talented pitcher. Um... He had a very good rookie season, right? Got called up in July. He got sent down in August, and he came back late August and was lights out. He was very good. Um, so we trade a solid young reliever for a utility second baseman. And value-wise, they're pretty similar. But 
as far as from a team level goes, I, I really I really do think that this was not a great trade. And this is where again, I hate to be Mr. Negative. I'm being attacked all over Twitter for this. Just because I point out that the Mariners traded something that we do need, which is young, controllable bullpen, for something that we don't need, which is another utility player. Like, I get that Luis Urias could have a bounce-back year, and he could end up being solid. You know who else could have been been solid was Colton Wong, Jose Caballero, Josh Rojas, Sam Haggerty, Dylan Moore. We have five utility players second baseman on our team, right? Dylan Moore, Jose Caballero, Sam Haggerty, Josh Rojas, and now Luis Urias. Five guys on our team who are second base, shortstop, middle infield utility guys. So they're not all going to make the team. I think I think at this point, Caballero is definitely out. Because I, I don't think... I mean, there's no reason why we'd be keeping Caballero on the major league team and also throwing out Rojas and Urias. And I don't even think Urias... I don't I mean, I don't think Haggerty's a lock to make the roster, and I honestly don't think Urias is a lock to make the roster. The problem with that is we just tendered him a $5 million contract, so we almost have to put him on the roster to justify the trading for him and giving him the contract. But he was so bad last year. Why would we do this? I'm questioning that too. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want another second baseman who's going to hit below 200. I've been watching this for the past five years. Ever since Cano left, we have not had a second baseman. We've had, we had Shed Long and D Gordon, and then it was Dylan Moore for a year, and Abraham Toro, and then Frazier was the best one that we got. Well, that we got, but we got we tried to we tried to upgrade from him, and I said we should keep Frazier. Because I didn't think we were going to be able to upgrade for him. I thought I thought he had, he came alive at the end of the season. He played well in the playoffs. I said, keep Frazier around. You're going to miss him. But instead, they got Colton Wong, and he failed. Caballero, not very good. Josh Rojas was, t- was fine. Average guy, platoon guy. And now we bring in Urias, who hit 190 last year. I don't want another 190 hitter. And I'm sorry... The fans who are gonna call me and who are gonna call me negative, I don't think it's negative to say that I want my team to show that they are trying to compete, and I don't think that that bringing in a guy with a 190 batting average is trying to compete. I don't think that is a sign of actually trying to compete. I think that's a sign of, yeah, we're gonna roll out a platoon and we're gonna be okay being mediocre. Like, no, no. That's not what that's not what I'm looking for. We already if we wanted to do a second base platoon, we already have the guys to do it because it would be Dylan Moore and Josh Rojas could platoon at second base. If that's the direction you wanted to go. Luis Urias just adds another platoon bat into the mix. We don't need another platoon bat. There's no reason. I'm sick of the the Cooper Hummels and the Tommy Listellas, I mean, the same people who told me last season that Tommy Listella and Cooper Hummel were great additions to the team, those are the same people today who are telling me that it was that this was an awesome trade to bring in Luis Urias. So, I mean, you know what? You were wrong last year. Maybe you'll be right this year. I don't I, I I'm not I'll believe it when I see it. And I'll admit it if I'm wrong. I'll admit it if I'm wrong, I will. I have no problem being wrong when I'm when I have a negative take about my teams and it turns out to be wrong, I will gladly admit that I was wrong. But I'm also not going to be Mr. Joy Joy positive over here. Cuz that's not the type of fan that I am. I I am a fan who is going to hold my team accountable. And when they make moves like this, I'm going to call them out on it. Every single team in the league is looking for young, controllable relief pitching. Every single team. And people are like, well, well, I mean, we, remember, well, we, we found Sacedo out of nowhere. We found Topa out of nowhere. So we can find more guys out of nowhere. That's true. We can find more guys out of nowhere. So I'll give you that. 
However, when you have a 26-year-old who's under contract for like three more years and he's looking like he's going to be a solid piece to your bullpen, don't trade him for a utility guy who might not even make the team. That's all I'm saying. Because I'm not convinced Urias is even going to make the team. I honestly, I don't know. I don't know what the plan is. Are we going to do a three-man rotation at second base? Is Dylan Moore going to be a permanently moved to the outfield? Like, I don't really know what's going on here. Maybe the plan is to move D- Demo to the outfield, and then you've got... But Demo shouldn't be starting in the outfield, so then what? Is it? Are we going to platoon Demo with Canzone in the outfield? And then have Urias and Rojas platoon at second. That that doesn't and then that means Kelnick is an everyday starter and it still doesn't solve and you still need a DH. It just right now the way our roster looks, I don't think we're a playoff team. That being said, the offseason is still a long one. So let's hope that the Mariners are able to figure something out here and make some actual winning moves. Cause this move this is not the sign. This is not a winning move. This is a really you're, you're gonna give up. You're gonna give up Campbell for that. Like I, I think Urias will have a great season for the Rainiers. Honestly, I do. But I think Campbell could have had a great season for the Mariners. That's the difference. That's the difference. So yeah, not happy about the trade. Not super thrilled. Those are my thoughts. We'll see you guys in the next one. This is the NW Sportscast. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me I'm an idiot. A lot of people on Twitter think I am. I don't care. I can take it. You gotta have thick skin to do what I do. See you in the next one.